Welcome back to another toy review by Universe Collections. Today I would like to present to you Supreme Leader Snoke and his Praetorian Guards. Supreme Leader Snoke comes with his throne. This is made by Hasbro Company. It is Black Series as we know it. So let's see what is inside the box. Okay, so right now he is in my hands now. Look at him. His costumes, it's a bit like golden pyjama. But I have to say, I like the paint job on his face pretty much. He has the jointed elbow, so he can move up that much. And on the left hand side, he has a mysterious ring that I have no idea what it is for. And let's look at his articulation on the legs. The range of motion is not much, he can just move up and down like that. But he has double jointed knees so that he can sit on his throne. And his costume, you can't take it off because it is glued it at the neck. Okay, let's look at the throne. It comes with a small piece at the base, so I'm gonna put it in. <coughs> okay, so it's tight now. Okay, let's see the detail on the throne. I kind of wish that it comes with LED light, but it doesn't. On his seat, it comes with a rough surface and at the base is written Hasbro made in China, blah blah blah. And on the back, they still put on detail, which you can't see it by the way. Hmm, impressive. Okay, let's put him on the throne. So he looks gorgeous, isn't he? Okay, when taking pictures, he looks that great. Okay, next one is Praetorian Guard by SHV Guard Bandai. This one is a Praetorian Guard with double blade. Let's see what's inside. He comes with many of weapon, whip stick, double blade and two pairs of hands. He is really shiny. And let's see his articulation. The good part is his shoulder armor. It has a joint in itself and so he can move his shoulder really freely. Just like that, up and down like that. And he can move forward and backward without making the armor pop out. Some say they don't like elbow joint of SS Figuard because the joints are not hidden. But I think this make him has a better range of motion in his arms. And he can do ab crunch just like that. But not much but I think it's okay. And also beneath the cloth, the plastic cloth, he has a normal joint of SS Figuard but sadly you can't see it because it's too dark, I'm sorry. And the knee, he can bend it just like that. Okay, and this is his double blade. The double blade in the movie can separate in two swords just like this. And this is so called whip stick, but it looks just like a sword. But when you shake it in the movie, it comes to this one. The paint job is quite nice on this one. And this is him when I take a picture of him. Look just right, just nice. And with his double blade. And his sword or whip stick, whatever. Uh, I have to say, he looks really nice in the picture. And the next one is Praetorian Guard with Heavy Blade. He's from the same company, Bandai SH Figuard. So everything is actually the same, but he doesn't have double blade, but he comes with heavy blade. The articulations are the same with the previous Praetorian. He has the same body. And this is the heavy blade. 
is really long and I have to say there are more details on the paint job. When you put it on his hands, he looks just right. Very nice. I admit that I had a great time taking pictures of them, two Petrovian guards and Snoke. After watching Star Wars The Last Jedi, I'm really into Praetorian Guard and I wish that I could collect them all, eight of them. So if you are a fan of them, collect them all. If you liked the video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. See you later, may the force be with you.